Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Friends, you know how we do it. We never talk about a certain illness which may or may not be sweeping through the country and through the world. Because when you talk about that, you open yourself up to set for censorship. So instead, so that this can be shared by you, which you're doing now, you're hitting share. I'm waiting. Good. You're hitting share, you're hitting subscribe, and you don't want to get the video banned. So what we talk about here isn't the, the real outbreak. We're, we're talking about something fictional, of course. We're talking about the Ooga Booga. And uh, the Ooga Booga Medicine. Now you may ask, isn't that isn't that the like like, like the uh, what they want to make you have the passport for? No, 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 it's not the vaccine at all. It's 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 a fictional medicine. Just hang loose, blood. She would catch up on a really bad out of medicine. Okay, so we don't just so you know, so we don't get censored here, so you know what we're talking about. Fully metacide, actress blames unmasked children for her breakthrough Ooga Booga diagnosis in a rant. Actress Melissa Joan Hart, who nobody's ever heard of, blamed unmasked children for her Ooga Booga breakthrough in a deranged rant this week. This is from the Gateway Pundit. The Sabrina the Teenage Bitch, which actress is, act is fully Ooga Booga metacide, and she told her 1.6 million Instagram followers that she likely got Ooga Booga because her kids don't wear masks at the Nashville school. I got Ooga Booga, and I'm vaccinated, and I got Ooga Booga, and it's bad, Hart said. I really hope that my husband and the other ones don't get it because if someone has to be taken to the hospital, I can't go with them. It's the end of the world if you have to go to the hospital without somebody. Do you know how many times I've gone to the hospital without somebody? Nobody cares about me. I go to the hospital by myself every time I have to go to the hospital. Beyond that, you have a 0.26% chance of dying of Ooga Booga. I think I'm 0.026. Well, I might be off on that one. She continued, I'm mad, really mad. I took precautions and we cut our exposure by a lot, but we got a little lazy. And I think as a country we got lazy. I'm really mad at my kids. They don't have to wear masks in school. I'm pretty sure that's what it came from. Could have come from Disney World. Yeah. Dumbie of the day. It's not, but it's close to it. She went to Disney World. Yeah, she did. And she caught the Ooga Booga. And now she has a greater than 99% chance of surviving. But I would like to take a, a, a look at this. Now, I need to know from anybody who has already confirmed this because I've tried to look it up, but due to the censorship online, I am unable to ascertain if this is real. Uh, this appears to be a gentleman who got the Ooga Booga medicine. And he is having trouble controlling his movements, his balance. He's spastic. He can't quit moving. He, like this. He can't quit. And uh, all attempts to verify its authenticity online are covered up by the propaganda for the, uh, the Ooga Booga. Now, there's going to be people that look at this and they say, well, that's rare. Okay, well, I thought a breakthrough was rare. Now, Ooga Booga, our fictional, uh, a fictional problem here, had a breakthrough case on the same day. That's rare. And now this other rare thing comes up. Yeah, I'm going to play the video in a minute. Don't, don't go away. I'm going to play the video of the, of the man. He's spastic, and his life is screwed. Screwed. Utterly, utterly screwed. There's no other way to put it. And it happened from reports I've seen after the Ooga Booga Medicine which they want to make mandatory for everyone. People are going to say, well, Sam, that's rare. Okay, well, I thought the breakthrough was rare. Okay, well, if this is rare, how rare? Is it as rare as your chances of passing away from the Ooga Booga? Because we know that that's way, way, way under half a percent. Is it based on your family history? If so, what 
what in your family history so that I can see if I have it in mind. Is it based on a blood type? Is it more common with a, a certain a diet, maybe with uh, certain medical conditions? Are we allowed to ask that? I'm glad we are, because we're not talking about anything that's real. Of course, we're just talking about the Yuga Buga. So hit share. And uh, I don't know how common this is, friends, but I, I, I'm going to show you what I found. It's 2 minutes and 14 seconds. We have a better TV up. I promised you an upgrade. There you go. Fat cam. Can I win? Uh, that's what I'm trying to do, actually. I'm trying to... Let me, uh... Um, you can't stop. No. Yeah, uh, no. Yeah, so I can do this. I can do that. And I can do that. But you cannot stop. Yeah, but I can't stop it. Yeah. The reason I'm questioning, and, I, and I'm being fair, that if this is from the Uga Booga Medici, is because he doesn't seem alarmed. Like, I, I would imagine you would be terrified if this happened out of nowhere, as opposed to it happening just after the second round of an Uga Booga treatment. But I don't know. So I'm sharing it with everyone. I, I'm not... I'm giving you what's coming to me because I know a lot of it's being censored. It's being censored so much that you can't even verify it. So I do this a lot. This this keeps my balance, right? Because I never really establish my balance, right? So if I keep moving. My body is always trying to adjust to its balance. But if I stop, I'll lose my balance. Because... Okay. So if my chances are small of something horrible happening to me, and my chances are small of dying of Uga Booga, how many of you are going to go with the chances on the Uga Booga, even if this is rare? Got about thirty seconds. So he's going to see his doctor a month. A month later? Friends, you let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you see. Uh, I'm not taking my chances with it. Let me know what you guys are saying.